weather forecasters tell you that a storm is impending or a tornado is headed your direction, you need to take that seriously and seek shelter. That message is fighting misconceptions held by a surprising number of Tennesseans. If you are among those who think rivers and mountains protect this area from tornadoes, forecasters say you need to listen up and change your thinking. 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes joins us with how researchers are targeting and attacking those myths. Gabby. Robin and John, researchers at UT say the original goal was to figure out why some people respond safely and why others don't. The results show your thoughts on how tornadoes affect you depend a lot on where you live and if you believe in luck. UT Associate Professor Kelsey Ellis says in order to understand tornado preparedness, she needed some insight from Tennesseans. Their perceptions of tornadoes, how often they think they're going to get hit, if they think they happen at night in the winter and things like that. She conducted a survey of almost 2,000 people from across the state and asked them questions like this. If they think they're protected by cities, rivers, and mountains. Here's what she found. In East Tennessee, people thought they were more protected by mountains, while in West Tennessee, people were more likely to think they were protected by rivers. 90% of East Tennesseans surveyed believe they are somewhat protected by the Great Smoky Mountains, which Ellis says isn't right, but also isn't entirely wrong either. Part of that's right because we get less tornadoes here partly because of the topography. But once a tornado is on the ground, it's not going to be stopped by a hill or a large hill and people tend to think they're protected when they're not. Moments like 2011 when 53 tornadoes were reported across the state, taking 35 lives, eight of which happened in Greene County. For this reason, Rural Metro's Jeff Bagwell says people have to be prepared. They, uh, they need to be wise and heed the, the warning. His advice is to have a plan ahead of time and always be indoors. We need to identify what room is the safe room. What room do we go to? Regardless of where you live, both Ellis and Backwell agree you just need to be aware and take it seriously if it ever happens to you. You just be prepared and heed the warnings. That's the biggest thing. Researchers also say an important rule of thumb is to get as many walls between you and the storm as possible, preferably a basement or a shelter. John? Gabrielle Hayes on the story. Thank you.